Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. This is a comment I got on a TikTok video a while back, back about a wedding ring. And they say, wedding ring? I'm sure she'd be happy with a Cheerio. I was talking about costs for marrying my wife in the Philippines eight years ago. Please subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea. Been married for eight years. Got married very quickly to a Filipina, ending my long run of singleness and being alone. And I've been very, very happy and fulfilled with my wife. Now, I talk a lot about the relationship and, you know, adapting to difficult situations. You're not always going to get your way. Uh, cultural differences, money issues, you know, so on and so forth. And that's really what I want to focus on is, is the marriage part. Um, there's plenty of videos about dating online and so on, but most of the time we've known each other, we've been married since we got married in less than eight weeks from about 10,000 miles away. And part of that, by the way, please subscribe here, leave comments on wedding ring, check out all the, the, the playlists on YouTube. I've got a book meant to be a match made in heaven. You can get online and download it. It's like $5.50 for about 550 pages and some pictures there. Details how I met my wife and just different thoughts I had going through the whole process, pretty much chronologically, many, many, many different um, articles in there. And um, wedding ring. So that's one of the costs that you don't always think about when you're thinking about visa costs and airplane tickets and, and those various fees. But before all that, you, you do want to propose to her. I have a video there on how I proposed to my wife, what a day that was. But before that, I got a ring. When I asked her on day 18 if she would marry me, she said, yes, if you come in and meet me, she wanted to get married there. So I ran out after continuing our conversation that Saturday and bought a ring. I remember the weather being beautiful. So that probably would have been March or April, 2015. It was really nice. And I went out, got her a ring, went to the second store that I looked at, not the first store. And I spent about $4,000 on the ring so i'm just throwing that out there so i'm not being you know ambiguous um i would have liked to have spent a lot more than that on her but that's that's what i had and, and that's what i what i spent and uh, i enjoyed picking out the ring and telling my story to the person there the salesperson who actually had had a boyfriend for like five years and he never bothered to propose to her and then he dumped her. And that's uh, just a terrible situation. So the thing I want to focus on here with the ring is not being cheap with your Filipina girlfriend that you're going to propose to. That ring is something that she's going to want to wear with pride. And it should be something that if you can afford more, I suggest spending more. I would suggest spending on your Filipina girlfriend that you want to become engaged to what you would spend on a ring in your country. I'm in America, so they usually say, and I'm not saying you should do this, don't they say like six months salary on a ring? Now, for those of you making fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year or more, that would be an awful lot, and I would say that's way too much. But it all depends on what you make. If you've got several million dollars in the bank, then I would go proportionally and give her the best darn ring you can, the most beautiful looking ring. Um, if you don't have a lot of money, I would suggest saving up for that day when you get her a ring and just mainly don't being cheap. Yes, you might be able to put a Cheerio or a Fruit Loop on, on her finger and she'd be happy for what it stands for. But, you know, I would don't be cheap. Buy something that she would treasure and that looks like she's married and looks like her husband put some thought into the ring and then just buy the first thing he saw or the least expensive thing. So I want to know what you 
think about this, and I understand possibly most people are going to disagree with me, but look, I'm looking for topics that are you're going to have to know one of these days if you get married. So let's talk about cost of wedding rings today. Can't put a value on it because it depends on your situation. Some would say, well, she's from the Philippines. She probably doesn't have much. Maybe she'd never expect to be married to a Westerner. So she'll be so grateful to be married to a foreigner that um, she won't even think about the ring much, just so she has a ring to show her friends. That's where we would be different if that's the way you feel about it, because I would want her to have a ring that, you know, sparkles. I bring it in every six months to get it cleaned up and um, making it look brand new for, what, eight years and five months now. It still looks brand new and, and sparkling. They can clean it up real good. Even you might have to send it in for a couple of weeks to really do something special with it. But that's okay because I want it to look brand new. And for her to remember that day when I proposed to her and she accepted for sure, for real, in the Philippines back in 2015. Don't be cheap. Don't just spend something. And again, this is a gray area. Only you know in your heart whether you're stretching yourself a little bit for that ring or if it's not really a priority and you just want to get her something and if you're a filipina please leave your comments here about your thoughts on a wedding ring this is my videos aren't usually are usually for men but with a ring it's a two-way street because they're going to be receiving the ring and uh, you know my wedding band doesn't have it's not not a diamond ring or anything like that but i rarely take it off of my finger um, at all during the course of a year. And um, I like it when my wife wears her ring because that takes me back to those early days with my love beyond the sea.